Double play. Oof. Well, Marcus Kido and Kendra Sethiawan now competing internationally independently of the National Federation. And I wonder, Ian, does that give them even more motivation trying to prove a point? From everything I've heard, that could well be the case. I think they were a little bit disappointed in the with the training in the National Centre that with love. Marx's problems that they weren't given some comp uh, dispensation for training a little bit less, having some lighter sessions. And the story is that um, they, were, they were asked to follow the same programme as the younger players and uh, in the end they felt that was affecting Marcus's health and one of the reasons Over. that was contributing to his injury problems. One, so they decided to go independent. Yeah, not the only Indonesian players to do so. Taufik Hidiyat, of course, also independent. A number of the players... To all. Now, certainly you and I were talking yesterday Over. about the difference Three, between the two. two Danish players and their quality of serve. Probably Lars Porska yesterday has uh, served better than I think any player has served I've seen. It was superb. And in contrast, Jonas Rasmussen, I think, does have a tendency to get very, very nervous on his serve, so it does become crucial Four, at the latter stages two. of the game which of the two Danish players is serving yes it's going to be very interesting because we've actually got two of the best servers in the world on court here Lars served extremely well throughout this tournament so really been able to dominate the forecourt behind it but on the other side of the net Olympic and former world champions Marcus Five, Kiddo is two. has a tremendous service which gives problems to all the players and again anticipates very well on the forecourt so this will be a very interesting battle Uh, channel attack, hipping in between the two players, causes confusion. Who should take that one down the middle? And of course, had the Danes got it back, it would have narrowed the angle of reply. And then the possibility to get your net player involved. Service over, three, six. I think, as far as the Indonesians are concerned, we will see an awful lot of Hendra Sepio one going forward. Seven, Whilst you mentioned the qualities of Marcus Kido from the onset of the rally, in general terms within the rally, it's Hendra one that wants to go forward. Yes, it's quite an interesting combination because they're both very, very comfortable in the forecourt. Both defend exceptionally well. Not the, not the most powerful attack, actually. There's a lot of pairs out there that have a stronger attack than them but they're Eight, very, very three. efficient in all the other areas of the game. Well, I think you, you may say that they haven't got the, the same strengths as some of the, the players in, a, in attack. Certainly, they probably don't have the same power in, a, in the smash, but I think they set up the rally so well for each other that when they're attacking, they probably win more rallies than virtually any other pair in the world. Yeah, that's true. They're very efficient, and they've got a very, very good understanding between themselves. They've played together for, for several years now. Um, not the raw power of some of the Chinese pairs, maybe in the Korean pairs, but as you say, they, they use every shot very well. They're always posing problems with their angles and the, and the position that they're hitting the shuttle to. So a very, very clever pair. Yes, you said they've been playing together for a number of years now, actually playing together since virtually they first started badminton since they were kids, through the junior ranks, up through the senior ranks, Ten, right three. to the top of world badminton as world champions and Olympic champions. I, I can't think of another pair that's actually done that, stayed together from early on. That's a good return. Service over. Four, ten.
No, missed it. Five, ten. Six, virtually stepping ten. into that smash from his opponents he anticipated so well. Look at this. He stands his ground. Look at that. That's what you call anticipation and courage. He's playing with tremendous confidence this week. That first round's really set him up and he's, he's really on top of his game this week. Surely the Danes can't really believe that they're going to beat their opponents in these flat, fast exchanges. The Indonesians going to the mid-game interval with a five-point advantage. Danes have got to be careful about getting drawn into that. Yeah, I'm quite surprised with the amount of experience that they've got, yeah. that they've been drawn into those quicker, tight rallies in, uh, at the start of this match. Certainly they can't afford to be trying to drive through Setiwan when he gets to the front of the court. Det er det, jeg bare ikke sagde, man går ned. Nej, men det er det, Eleven six play. <laughs> Service over. Seven. It is 11. amazing that the shorter of the two Indonesian players, Marcus Guido, so often finds himself at the back of the court, and that's where he feels very comfortable. He's may not be the tallest of men, but my goodness, with the jump smash, thunders it down. Service over. 12-7. Yeah, confused look 13, on the face seven. of Jonas Rasmussen. Oh, unbelievable. Good work from Rasmussen. Service over, 8-13. do have a question mark in my own mind, though, Ian, that if this is the only way the Danes are going to win rallies, we're working that hard and many, many smashes, quite Thank frankly. You. I'm not sure they've got the physical stamina to last that all the way through a match. No, I mean, where they've been so effective this week is being able to get Lars Pasca onto the front court, creating a lot of opportunities for him, and so far he's just not been able to get into that position. The Indonesians have been too quick for them getting forward. Yeah, good change of pace for Marcus Guido. It's over 14-8. see a good example 15, good example eight. of the short serve there excellent service three point service 
time is over. 9.15. be patient with their attacking play because it will take two or three before they actually get 10, through. 15. Yeah, I mean, Jonas there gets hit in good angles and that gives it Lars the chance to move forward and get into position to finish. Much better play. Lovely, lovely change of pace from Lars Borska. 11, 15. Wipe the court, please. I do see an awful lot of very short rallies in men's doubles nowadays with this new scoring system. Do you have a theory on why that is? OK, thank you. Well, with the new system where you can score points on return as well as with the service, there's a lot, a lot of emphasis on the serve and return situations. So all the countries in the world, whereas the Europeans used to have a slight advantage over the Asians on serve and return, now every country in the world is training daily on getting the best serve, the best returns, 16, and, and it's shortened, it shortened the rally length. Yeah, but we don't see such quick rallies in women's doubles or mixed doubles. And it, it, it's sort of exaggerated to me. I mean, the last two rallies have been two or three 12, shots each. 16. Yeah, well... It's confusing to me. I, I haven't worked it out. I don't know why we're seeing so many very short rallies in men's doubles. Now, if, you look at, if you look at the statistics of it, it's quite interesting. In men's doubles, a study that was done over several tournaments uh, last year, 78% of the points are won by the team that gets the first attack. Now, in the, in the ladies' over. doubles and the mix, that, that's not exactly wow. the same. It's a more even breakdown. You can, can, it's, it's more possible to convert the defence back into attack. But in the men's, it's so important for them to 18, get that first attack 12. off the serve and return position. Six point advantage. One would think that will be decisive in this opening game. Service, Service fault, fault called. called. Shuttle struck above the waist. Service over 13. Ian Spear. Oh, yes. Well spotted. Yeah, good call. Service over. 19-13. I just think Jonas is forcing a little bit 20, there. If it had just taken point, the pace 30. off there, that would have allowed Lars to go forward and they'd have got into an attacking formation. Service over. No service short of the mark. 14-20. Oh dear, there's the error, the problems on serve of Jonas Rasmussen. And it gifts the opening game to the Olympic champions. Marcus Kido and Hendra Sathiwan.